Hello everybody, welcome back to Cure for the Common Game. Today we're going to talk about the Global Series. Now this is a two pretty much commander decks and it is only available in China, in simplified Chinese, and in English in the US. So uh, now the weird part about this is the legality of these brings some into question if you search like scryfall or something it'll say that there are only 10 cards in here legal for commander because there's a few reprints in the basic lands now if you look the rules committee on the actual edh rules page article 6 says EDH uses the vintage legal card pool. So uh, Morrow tells us that these will be legal and standard in mainland China only, and it will be legal in vintage and legacy. So that tells me every card in here is legal for EDH. Now, let's unbox this and see what's inside it. I was ordering some stuff online because there was I didn't have a Liliana's Caress for my Ugaros deck, which by the way is finished, it's coming, I think it's going to be like uh, deck 298 I believe so that's coming down the pipeline for you guys what is this thing? that looks cool tells the story hmm that might be worth hanging on to love this art, she is, she is absolutely amazing he looks like, you know. Okay, how do we open this thing? So we have Jing Yangu here. This is probably what we're used to, isn't it? And. We have target creature gets plus two, plus two to end of turn. If you don't control a creature named Mowu, create Mowu. The three, three hand. That's kind of cool. Oh, look. Check this out. It's Mowu. Mowu appears to be foil. I love that legendary frame. Glad they're using it on tokens as well. But I think Mowu here is also double-sided whoa don't want to meet that in a dark alley at night so we have in this deck we have screeching phoenix eh, six minutes it's a phoenix wow it's a phoenix that doesn't like come back from the dead but it has team breathing for three so that's in the right deck that could be useful Journey for the Elixir, we get two copies of it. It's labeled as a rare. Three mana, you search for the walker and a land. And they go to your hand. We have Sacred White Deer, which apparently they give you three of them. Two mana, two, two. Gain four life if you've got the walker. Timber Gorge, you know, I always love duels. Uh forest y'all seen that before confidence from strength uh, i want to pass up these basic lands it appears like this thing is shuffled almost because the lands are are uh, not all together so it really appears like that you could open this up not shuffle and play the snake for a snake deck you know, two mana reach is not bad. It's loud with raw cards, isn't it? And another snake. Yeah, because the copies of the cards are not even together. The Earthshaker. The Pangolin. Confidence. Like I said, I don't know if I'll use any of these in index, but... I catch myself using random stuff that's just you wouldn't think of. I mean, this is a six mana five five trample. These are it's kind of they intentionally underpowered it so that you know I guess the rest of the world wouldn't feel bad about not being able to use them in standard. Because trust me, these are not exactly my focus is off. 
these are not exactly, you know, standard playables, but why is my focus not working? Why is it so slow? I had it. There we go. So, ah, permanent giant grills. I mean, we've seen that before. Breathe fire is a double costed shock that only hits creatures. Yeah. Yeah, definitely underpowered. Hey, check this out. That's a giant spider. Bird. Okay. Breathe fire again. Giant spider. Cleansing screech. Yeah, it, it kind of looks... Maybe if I'm running some kind of weird tribal or something that I... Um, I mean, five mana, four damage at instant speed. Eh. I'm just tossing these basic lands so that... I'm not showing you the same mountain or whatever. Uh, although a lot of these look like they are duplicates by now anyway. So let's get into the other deck that starts with Mu Yanling. Tart creature can't be blocked this turn. Hey, I also just finished Tetsuko, so that's kind of, I'm, I'm right there in with this. Can we can we clean that up a little bit? My computer's running kind of slow because I've been kind of hesitating putting off that uh, upgrade that I've heard nothing but problems about. Uh, draw two cards and ten. Tap all creatures your opponents control. Take an extra turn. Wow. I kind of like that one. I might actually play this chick because tapping down all blockers and then getting... Yeah, two turns, but more importantly, two attack steps. So, it, if you're running the blue beats, that's the way. Let's open up her deck. What we got here? Right up top, we have an Ancestor Dragon. That guy looks mean. Six mana, five, six fly. Whenever one or more creatures you control attack, you gain one life for each attacking creature. I'm going to say that's not bad. I mean... Eventually, one day I'm going to do a mono white dragons, and I'm pretty sure he's going to be in there. Rhythmic water vortex, we get two. Uh, bounce two dudes, search your library or graveyard for the walker, reveal it, put it in your hand, shuffle. You know, this one seems the most conditional because you have to have two target creatures in order to do it. I mean, yeah, it's all kinds of how you're bouncing to and tutoring, but yeah, I just don't know about this one. Uh, moon Eating Dog, we get three of. As long as you control the walker, the dog has flying. Four mana, three, three. That's kind of cool art. We got ourselves Meandering Rivers in this one. We have a yak. What does that make? Two or three yaks or oxes? Yeah, because I'm going to be able to travel Oxus one day. We have uh, the reprint of Brilliant Plan. Five men to draw three at sorcery speed. Which, what is that? Concentrate that's four mana, two and two for drawing three. That's the one that Harmonize was copied after. But this is just, you're paying more colorless to make it very splashable. So, I don't know. I might end up playing this. The Blessing. If you'll notice, I'm just skipping over some of these words because I'm just too southern to... Tarkus gets plus two, plus two in a turn. That's not bad for a giant growth in white. The Welkin turn is back. Cloak of Mist is back. The Welkin turn. The Heavenly Kieran. And attacks another target creature control against flying. So that's cool. Dragon's Presence. Five damage to attacking or blocking for three mana instant. You know, I can see me using that. Hmm. Purple crystal crabs. Tribal crabs is coming, y'all. You know that one day, right? right? Storm cloud spirit. Also amazing art. Look at that. The way it just he is bringing the storm. Another blessing. 
colorful sparrow. Man, see, I would love to see some of these foiled, which will never, ever happen. But look at that. Wouldn't that look beautiful foiled? Another dragon's presence. Another Kieran. A vivid flying fish. As flying as long as it's attacking. It is a fish lizard. A fish lizard with pretty spectacular art, I might say. Kind of a peacock thing going on there. Turtle. This, in fact, is turtly enough. So, 0 5 for 3 mana. That, that blocks a whole lot of things. Another dragon's presence. Drowned in shapelessness. Eh. Another brilliant plan, a drowned, a vivid, another spirit, nine tail white fox. Why does this sound so Kamigawa? Um, deals combat damage to a player, draw a card, three mana, two, two. We've seen this under different names. I, I think we've seen a lot of these cards under a different name. So it's probably going to matter for just if for some reason we ever want more copies of that card so that is it well i don't know if i showed you all the meandering river because that's in the there are no cards uh, meaning there are no swamps mm, trying to think of what else uh, i believe that is it for Mulang about the global series. It's just a little English. We decided to do something different this time. Their team of Chinese artists, writers. Yeah, this thing was completely created from everybody because it's based on the story. Hmm. A few available English. How many? It says we made a few available in English. Huh. Wonder how many that is. Did I just open something I probably should have kept sealed? I'll probably not, because y'all know I don't keep nothing sealed. I, I'm playing with all my cards. Anyway, I do appreciate you guys watching. I, I figured this would be something different, something neat. And as I said, I, I was ordering the Liliana's Caress for the Ugaros deck because I couldn't find one locally. And I wanted to get above that free shipping thing. And I, I was just looking through the site. And lo and behold, I found this. And I was like, sure, why not? Well, I do appreciate y'all watching. Y'all let me know what you think. Is this uh, going to be worth anything? Or should I probably left it sealed? Probably, maybe. Because, I mean, it's not like it's a powerhouse. This right here will be in my new phone background. This may replace Jorah. I don't know. Well, anyway, I appreciate y'all watching. But right now, we're going to shuffle and cut.